Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another at-home vlog. I'm trying to cover... I have some matcha on my robe. I just, just spilled it. I only have a little bit left, but I was drinking this before my vlog, and then I happened to spill it, and now I'm just really upset. So today, we're gonna do a thrifting with me. Also, we're gonna go to one of my favorite used bookstores because I have like specific things I need to pick up. Um, I'm looking for like horticulture books. So we're gonna go look for that today. So I haven't eaten breakfast yet or anything. I mean, honestly, my breakfast is so boring. I'm probably not even gonna show you. I just eat bread every day for breakfast. It's either toast or it's a bagel or it's an English muffin or it's a croissant or it's a bagel thin or it's like a roll, maybe I buy like an Italian loaf or maybe a Parisian baguette. It's just bread. Um, oh, I have some PR boxes I've been saving to open. And oh, PR, see my mind? It's just, it's all over the place. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so this one is from a young designer. She was so sweet and she was DMing me and she makes really cute pieces. So she custom made me some pieces to wear. And this is a really cute bow. So I want to see the pieces. Like I kind of already know because she sent me pictures of what she was going to make. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. She put a little bow on the, I've never even seen that before. I'm keeping this cute little note. Oh, it's handwritten too. Thank you for so much of the inspiration you have given me over the past four years. Oh my gosh, she is so sweet. The first is this top, and it's like a corset in the back, as you can see right there. And then the front is like this, and the sleeves tie into a bow, which is so cute. If I was getting dressed up today, I would wear this, but I'm not, but this is gonna be so pretty for like little enchanted gardens with like maybe a little skirt, or maybe you could dress this down with like jeans or something. Then we've got this, I love this like little, so ballet-esque. Then we've got, what is it? Oh, I think this is a skirt. Yes, so this is a little wrap skirt. So it's got like a slit here and everything, and then the strings you tie around to cinch the waist, and there's just a really nice little silk skirt, which is great now thinking about this because literally just yesterday I realized all my white silk skirts are maxi skirts. I don't have any short ones. So I was like, I need to buy one, and I totally forgot she was sending me one. So thank you. Now I don't need to buy one. And then this one is also a skirt. I remember this one I saw on her Instagram. It's like, it is so cute. It's just the perfect white skirt. Oh, thank goodness I did not buy a white skirt because I was literally just thinking that yesterday. I was like, all my white skirts are long. This is so cute. It's almost like just a little ballerina skirt, which is perfect because I love dressing like a ballerina off duty. If you haven't watched my channel before, I probably say that like sentence every day. That's like my typical everyday style. It's like Parisian street style mixed with like a ballerina off duty. Like that's how I just like to dress. This is the last thing that I actually unboxed and opened. This is from Guerlain and now one of my friends got this so I already kind of know what's on the inside. Um, and they sent me this. I like how somebody like hand did that, you remember? I did a video where I tried to learn how to write all pretty like that and I epically failed. So it looks like a little beehive. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Can you see that? They come out like, like a little beehive thing. Is that what it's called? It's not called the beehive. <laughs> Look at this. I think because there's honey in the products. This is the Royal Youth Water Oil. Oh my gosh. There's like gold beads at the bottom and everything. Is it focused? There's like gold beads, can you see that? At the bottom of the product and everything. I'm gonna be conservative efforts. Worldwide beekeeper training program, bee school to raise awareness for children in the bee university. This is adorable. This is so cute. I have my Eiffel Tower scissors. I'm gonna open this one. I can tell by the tape, it says Summer Fridays. Okay, so Summer Fridays, they sent me a new jet lag mask. So here, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at this. Summer Fridays and Tezza, a little. We've got a little beach vibe going on here. And this, oh my gosh, it's a book. Oh my gosh, you know I love coffee table books. Thought it was gonna be a product. Is this like a photo book? Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> I did not expect this like at all. I think it's I think it's a coffee table book. Oh wait, are they photos? They're prints. Oh my gosh, they're prints. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I kind of like this better than a coffee table look. I've never seen a brand do this before. This is such a creative idea. They're like a whole bunch of gorgeous photos of Summer's Friday products. Look at the lemons. Oh my goodness. 
Last, but of course not least, we have a big box from Revolve. Okay, so there's actually a lot of stuff, and I'm going to do a nice haul. Not like a tram haul or anything, I'm just going to show you what I got. But I think because most of it I end up posting on my Instagram, when I go thrifting, I don't think I'm going to do a haul like on here of what I got. I think I might do an IGTV or something of like a big haul. So if you want to see at the end of this, like what I got when I go thrifting, I'm going to do a haul on my IGTV because I've been wanting to make more IGTVs, but I never knew like exactly what to film. So I think that would be a good idea. Um, so the first thing that they sent were these shorts from Majorelle, which I've been wanting really nice knit shorts for a long time. And these are like a nice light gray color. Um, ever since like the Jacquemus ones came out, I've been wanting them. And you know, like with the whole quarantine, cute and comfy clothes have been like sort of the exact thing we've been going for here. It's like comfortable outfits that are like still cute because you can't get too dressed up and then you don't want to like look slouchy and PJs all the time. So these are like a perfect in between. They're so adorable and they're really like soft and stretchy. Then I've got also from Majorelle this really nice button-up sweater, which I have so many of these, but I really like the shape of it, how it looked online. And I really like the buttons, and I like the croppedness of it. I like the thick knit, which is really nice. A lot of mine are like thin and cotton. So for the fall that's coming up, this will be really nice. I also got the second sweater, a little bit more minimalistic, a little bit more Jacquemus vibe. This would look really cute with the shorts. It's just like this crop to a little like very widely open neck sweater, very nude, long sleeve, adorable basic. I've got this because I've been trying to get into jumpsuits because I love them, but for some reason every time I get one, I just never feel it. So I've been trying to like really adventure with jumpsuits. And like I said, fall coming up, this is like some new fall stuff. So I've got this really pretty beige. I might unbutton the top too because it's like a little bit too high neck for me but it's very long, it cinches at the waist, just a nice pant, really cute, and it looked amazing on the model, it was so pretty, she wore it with just some like little black kitten heels, and I was like, that's just such a good, simple, everyday fall look, I need it. <laughs> then we've got this skirt, which I've been seeing everybody wearing on Instagram, it's so pretty, it's like such a trendy skirt right now. So it looks like a typical, like midi, sort of long skirt, but then you have these two strings here that sort of tie around your waist, so it makes that sort of X like that, and it's really, really pretty. It's such like a simple detail, but it adds like this really cool different element to the skirt, which I really like. And this is like a nice navy blue. It looks black, but it's like a dark blue. I've got, I apparently was picking out a lot of knits. I was thinking for fall, this is pretty. This is from L'Academy, which is one of my favorite Revolve brands. I love the front like neckline of this sweater and it's got sort of like a poofy sleeves. You can see it like cinches there. Just really nice long shirt, tuck this into jeans or still for now you can tuck it into shorts and just wear it with some like white head sneakers. Again, love like a nice basic. I've got this dress, which is gorgeous. Got a little tie action there. Very just like linen and nice, but it's long sleeve. So as we're like transitioning into summer, I still love wearing like summery dresses like this, but instead of wearing like the spaghetti strap ones, now we've got long sleeves so I won't like be cold. We've got a pair of jeans from Girlfriend because I'm always searching for the perfect jean and these have no rips in them. I used to love jeans with rips and now I don't at all. So I love these. They've just got like a really simple bottom. They're a little bit high-waisted, sort of got that vintage look to them, light wash. Got two more things. These are both from LPA. This one here, oh my gosh, I forgot about this. This is so cute. Okay, so it looks kind of like a blazer, but it's a shirt. How adorable is that? It gave me mega vintage vibes. I love this to wear with like a really like fitted pencil midi skirt and just like closed toe. Like my vintage like pro like oh my gosh. I envision it now. Next also LPA we've got I love the color beige apparently. We've got this. Is this a dress? <gasps> this is adorable. I don't remember picking this one out. This is so cute. It's very like like peasant dress, very fluffy. Look at the sleeves, look at the poof. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love this. Okay, that is everything from Revolve. I feel like I have so much new stuff I should dress cute today. Maybe I'll try like one of the pieces on or something and to wear. I'm just gonna get dressed really quick and then we're gonna head over to the thrift stores first and do a little bit of vintage shopping and then we're gonna hit the used bookstore. Okay, this is my look for today. I've been using these like fabric tote bags every day. Like I swear I don't even wear purses anymore like at all I decided to wear this sweater that I got from Revolve which I'm a little bit nervous about because it is like 89 degrees today so I may be hot I think I'm gonna put like a little tank top underneath so I can open it if I get too hot these are also from Revolve I have like a full Revolve look unintentional and then my black ballet slippers just to be comfortable since I'm just shopping my hair is the same I did put a little bit of concealer blush on 
we're good to go. Okay, we're going to the Goodwill now. I think we might go to like two or three today. Possibly three. I have a bagel because I forgot to eat my breakfast. And yes, we're gonna start in one. I'm gonna show you around. I'll show you some cute things that I find. A lot of cute things. I just went yesterday. Well, no, we went over the weekend. I found a lot of good stuff. I didn't. I haven't been in a while. <laughs> and this is really really nice I don't know like what I'm gonna do with them like I don't have plans but I figured this is also really good but like scraps for practicing stuff this is like a double-sided like satin that's like brown and then black like it's so cool and I found a whole bunch of sewing stuff somebody must have just like donated their entire collection I got uh, two reels like huge reels of lace trim which is really really nice I especially love this one it's gonna be really cute for like tops and stuff and then I got these two big spools of thread and I just got this white and this really nice mauve color. The only other colors they had were like a whole bunch of pinks. And then I got some patterns. I found some like really cool vintage patterns. These were only a dollar. These were like the favorite ones that they had. So really good finds. Like I said, I'm probably not going to do a haul of like the clothes that I got. I didn't actually get that many stuff. Plus I only went to two stores. Um, so I'm not going to do a haul here. I'm probably going to do it on my Instagram, like an IGTV or something like that would be really nice. And I'm like really tired. So I don't think I'm going to go to the bookstore today just because I'm not feeling it. I think I might just do some like online research, maybe order some books like on Amazon or something. Okay. So now we're going to talk about something that I mentioned on my Instagram that you guys have requested. I do in this vlog, which I thought was really great. I've talked about it like a couple times in other vlogs. And basically I posted like a big filler photo of like a like a book haul that I had done This is the current one that I'm reading right now. It's called God Chicks and it's really good I'm almost done it which is really exciting for me if you don't know me very well I cannot read a book to save my life. I get so distracted I don't think I've ever finished a book before and I'm actually about to finish this book right now Well, I mean I have finished a book before that's being dramatic um, not the point of what I was going to talk about So a lot of people always ask me like questions on how I get to spend so much of my time With God when I'm such a very busy person and I thought that was a great question I always get so many DMS about this from you guys on how to like make it fun How I have such a strong relationship with God, but like I'm busy and all that stuff so I sort of wanted to talk about that today so I had mentioned that in the caption that's why I brought up the books <laughs> I mentioned it in the caption of the book photo and I was like do you guys want me to talk about this and every comment was like yes I didn't have one no comment which was extremely um extremely exciting to see so basically one thing that I wanted to say is like priority when you want something you prioritize it you put it in your life so if you really do truly value a friendship and a relationship with God like you're going to put it in your free time I used to do so many dumb things with my free time like I'm not gonna lie especially like social media it's like obviously social media is my job I can't just like take a break from social media but I only use it for necessity so like when I upload that's when I use it or when I'm like directly messaging brands but I don't just like scroll on social media I don't go on TikTok anymore I deleted my Twitter like I don't just like use it just to fill time but anything like that of course like anything that just voidlessly fills my time without edifying me or being encouraging or you know broadening my horizons of my mental knowledge like if it is not speaking into my life or doing anything positive for me I try to really eliminate it or minimize it 
in my daily routine. And a lot of things, sometimes I'll replace them with the same thing, but just make it more Christ-like. For example, that is where I was going for 30 minutes about the books. So I'll take hobbies that I already like and I'll introduce God into them because a lot of the times I see some comments from you guys that are like, oh, like I genuinely love God. I want to spend time with him, but it's boring. So um, now that I've started getting into reading and enjoying reading, I decided to pick up some Christian books that I thought were really, really great. Like I said, this one's really good. And I go to used bookstores actually, so I don't, most of these aren't new books, but you can still find them. This one I haven't started yet, but it sounded really interesting. And like I skimmed it a little bit in the store. This is Having a Merry Heart in a Martha World, A Cup of Comfort, which is really nice. And I got a lot of questions about this book, which is Conversations with God. It's just sort of like questions and then like i guess how god would answer them again i just kind of skimmed through it in the store and it looked really really nice um i really like writing writing has been like one of those random hobbies that like you know you don't ever do but like in the back of your mind you know you enjoy it but you just never have time for it so i've started making time for it especially during quarantine where we're just like forced to like stay at home and like we can't just like fill our time voidlessly with like empty things like going out shopping and eating when you really don't have to so either like i'll write little like sermons in here like i'm like a pastor or something and they're just like messages to myself you know so like when i ever need to hear something i can just reread it i write down prayers that have been answered or miracles i've encountered or just different lessons that i've learned so that i don't forget them i write them all I write them all down in there. So reading music is another thing. Like when I'm listening to music, like I usually, sometimes I'll do like cleanses where like I'll only listen to Christian music for a certain amount of time. And I find worship that I really, really enjoy or just like Christian music that I enjoy, which I'm not gonna lie, it's also kind of hard. There's a lot of like stuff out there that I just would not listen to for fun. But if you do some good digging, you can find some good stuff. Because honestly, when it all comes down to it, God is like the most important thing in my life. It's like genuinely all I care about. <laughs> So, I mean, like, when you sort of have that attitude and once you start spending time with God and you, like, feel the difference, like, you see the change in your lifestyle, like, it's so incredibly, like, reshaping to your mind and you just, it finds its own way, you know? So, I would say, like, for those of you who have a hard time, like, start, like, find little ways to introduce it into your lifestyle and start doing it and then, like, the easier it gets. I mean, I guess that's kind of like with anything, like with working out, like the first day you work out, of course, it's like kind of hard and it's like not like your normal routine, but that's with anything. You can't just expect your routine to like naturally change. You have to like put it and shape it into form. So yeah, I've talked about before um, my Bible that I have. I get so many questions on this. Um, my She Reads Truth Bible. I actually just bought a new one that is so pretty and <laughs> buy a Bible for the aesthetics. And I sort of decided to like sacrifice and give up my morning. And instead of just like sleeping in for three hours until like noon or whatever, I wake up at eight every morning and I spend like the first like 45 minutes with God, which obviously that's like a lot of time you don't have to do that unless you want to, which I like it. Um, at first I only used to do like 10, 15 minutes, but I just, it's so peaceful. It's like, how can you not? Like most of the time I'm like spending my time with God and I'm like, I just don't want to even get into my daily routine. I'm just like, I just want to stay here for a while. And I was like, Keep reading and keep praying because it's so calming you know so I do that and then I go about my day and of course like I try to like like I said like introduce it little bits in the day so that's what I'm gonna do now that's why I decided to start talking about this because I didn't have really anything to do because I didn't I'm too tired to go to the bookstore I don't want to drive all the way there it's like a 30 minute drive and I honestly just have nothing else to do so I'm probably just gonna like sit here on this couch yikes and do a little bit of reading and just get a snack maybe i'll make myself like a little latte again we're gonna do an afternoon skincare routine just sort of like wash my face maybe do a little exfoliating action i don't know things that you can pull your hair back with because i hate getting my baby hairs all wet okay <laughs> This one's a little bit crazy with the bow on top but it's fun so for to cleanse my face i'm going to use this Book. Okay, this is the La Mer. This is their The Cleansing Micellar Water. And then I'm going to use these. These are the Shiseido Facial Cotton. It's just facial cotton. Do that. And I love the smell of this micellar water. It has that like classic La Mer scent. I'm going to do the Caudalie Serum. I've used this one before. It's really nice, but I don't use it very often. So... This one smells really good. It's got like a cucumbery smell, which I like because I'm about to use the eye gel that is cucumber. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna go in with the eye gel. This is one of my favorite ones from Fresh. I just take literally the littlest dot and I just blend that up into the corners. And I bring it on top of my eyelids a little bit too. And this is my Dr. Barbara Sturm Lip Balm. I really like this one. It's really nice, you can see. Nice dent in there. So I'm actually going to end the vlog here. Like how we're ending the vlog the same way we usually start them, you know, with skincare in the bathroom and a robe. <laughs> But um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. You know my deal if you've seen my videos before. I don't really like vlogging at night. Um, it doesn't really match. It's not on brand. <laughs> yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know you guys love vlogs. So if you want to keep seeing them, make sure you give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more vlogs as well as fashion videos. And yeah, that is it. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.